Anima versus Foggy. This is the round of eight of today's Jera Cup number 54 Easter edition. And Anima is leading 1-0. Anima, the French human player, who has amazing ladder stats, 49 and 1. He, I don't think he's ever been in a final of a Jera Cup. And I don't remember having seen him much at all, actually. Maybe the new rising star of Europe? Question mark. Demon Hunter. No warden fun for Foggy. Against the Archmage, so it's gonna be the standard. Alright, Peasant with a pickaxe, what do you guys think, is he going to be able to get a last hit? Oh, he's going to steal the uh, priest, oh we have to look at the last hits here, oh he's going to mess, he steals one, oh my god, he steals two, holy crap, and he gets away, no way, no way, oh my god, this is disastrous, this is disastrous, did he get that one as well, no he didn't. Holy Christ. But one wisp is dead. Second wisp is dead. And this is why we call it a greedy creep camp. Oh my god. The Archmage almost has the same experience. <laughs> painful, painful. But of course the 1v1 will not be won by the wizard. He does have the Shadow Priest though. To help healing. Is he attacking behind this? Not yet. He has a lot of lumber though. Of course he hasn't used the militia to creep yet, so obviously he has a lot of lumber. And there's a block from the footman, uh, not working out too well. He's not going to be able to get the kill with a mana burn, the Archmage is pretty much out of mana. Uh, trying to get the wisp block, but nope. No cigar. But if he gets the boots here, he might be forced to TP because of the little stop he has to make. And Anima gets the rest of the creep camp as well. Stealing some mercenaries here. Tries to get another block, but again, no. Boots of speed for the AM, and he actually gets around. Big mistake by Foggy. Big mistake. Like, this shouldn't happen. Wisp should have been here. That was a big mistake. That could have been a TP forest. I guess he was busy somewhere over here. Oh. The player's forces are under attack. There it is. Foggy is expanding. And Anima is doing what I remember Yaws doing against the Rich at the WCA Pro Qualifier in, at Gamescom. Pressuring while simultaneously taking an expansion with Mass Militia. And how is Foggy supposed to deal with this man? He has one archer, he, lost just, he just lost one. Against a Berserker, the Shadow Priest and four footmen. He has nothing! Absolutely nothing. He doesn't even have, have boots of speed and those would be so important. This Archmage is super dangerous, man. He's stealing some mercenaries right now. He gets the Shadow Priest, but that's that's honestly it already. Trying to go for the four footmen around, but not quite. They're not being nice to me, guys. Alright, so... 
There's not too much damage by Anima. He's of course getting a lot of time for his expo. But little does he know there's another expansion. Now the Demon Hunter though, the 4 units around finally sticks. Pretty well done, but actually the Footman will die. So, stuck for a while, but not forever. Mass mercenaries on both sides. But now finally Foggy has enough to beat this back. Alright, game is now stabilizing. Both players have an expansion, or Foggy will have one soon anyways. Tech-wise, Anima just started his tech right this second. The player's forces are under attack. And this is Echo Isle's human versus Night Elf. Most of the time the Night Elf at some point feels the need to kill the Night Elf's expansion. Because absolutely equal on economy for the for the entire game, the un uh, the human doesn't feel he can take it. A player's forces are under attack. More and more mercenaries. Hawk is leading 1-0 by the way against Passion. Thanks for the update. And our mascot, Mud Golem, Mr. Muddy. A player's forces are under attack. Demon Hunter is still no level 3, still no boots of speed, and I guess at this point it's too late for boots. Oh! Is the Mud Golem with a slow gun to be able to get this around? Level 3 now. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a surround, definitely. But it's only gonna be a TP. And with an expansion, it's not that expensive to be losing a TP. Of course, a little bit unnecessary. But he saw this coming, this is the big deal. He saw this pressure coming, but he was anticipating it anyways. Look at all the mercenaries he got. And look at the nice formation they're, they're standing in. This is cool. Like, crisscross. I like it. I am gonna be getting level 4 here. Infinite water elementals. Oh, actually not. I was lying. Tier 2 is ready. I imagine the panda is gonna be coming here. Oh, panda is here already. And with splash damage and such a big army, there's no way Anima can take this fight. He gets the Naga. He has one scroll of healing, but I, I really don't think he can win this fight. Oh my god! He got surrounded! Oh, the one way he can win this fight! But the staff has been transferred. Ooh, that was a big deal. But now the panda's super vulnerable. Another breath of fire, though. Dealing a good bit of damage. And maybe I overestimated the Nihil's position. And may maybe Foggy did so as well. Losing a Shadow Priest, an Archer, and a second one. And... A mauler. The surrounds are really nice here for Anima. And another archer. Ah, oh, Foggy losing units left, right, and center. Unnecessarily. Getting more from the Merc camp, though. Now he's attacking the expansion. I was not expecting this to be working out that well. But now the Naga in trouble, and again the Demon Hunter, but there is a staff ready. And this is a lot of damage that all the footmen are copping. Oh, with the Naga in full use at the last possible second and pretty much the same with the staff. Footman engaging the ranged army again with defend. There's one more breath of fire. He wants to try to go for the Naga level 2 though and being healed by a Shadow Priest. Anima is doing this so well. Perfect micro. Pretty much. Demon Hunter coming back in again, the boots of speed man. 
Would have helped tremendously this game. He has another breath. He has another breath, but there's the heal scroll. And the breath, what the hell was that? <laughs> kind of off target. Oh, the Demon Hunter heal potion before the Fog Lightning hits. And now the Naga, she has the Invol, but it's too late. Invol was still on cooldown. Oh man, action packed mid game here. Forty-three supply for Anima, but look at the bank. Almost two thousand gold already. And Foggy can only dream of such a bank account. And the macro is being established. Double Arcane Sanctum and the workshop. Do we have tier three completed? Yep. Foggy is tier three, but he's pretty damn low on lumber. Needs a few more wisps by the looks of it. A player's forces are under attack. He's gonna get a few footmen, but who cares? These are only footmen. I feel like these footmen have been <coughs> used perfectly this game. Like strike in the mid game, do damage while you still can. When you're up against bears in the late game with like 70, 80 supply, footmen are near useless. He's not solo creeping the panda to my surprise. Ogre Magi, what you got up your sleeve? Greater Invul. Very, very good, obviously. And Anima, he's going into upkeep. He's getting ready for the push. But Foggy's following him right away into upkeep. Oh, this is big. B2W shop control. There's no heal scrolls though, <laughs> so it's not that important who arrives first. But Invul goes towards the Arc Mage. A player's forces are under attack. Panda will get level three, and I think he did he buy the pendant. Uh, what did he get here? I'm sorry, I forgot. I think he bought it, but I'm not sure. Maybe he had it all this time. Oh, the man will come in, in here invisible. But he can't really take an item unless he drops the claws or something. He of course needs the staff to get out and doesn't want to use the invul. So the Naga gets everything, gets the ring plus three, that's of course not a very good one. And the panda gets more time to creep himself. 64 supply versus 79. Maybe some militia from the main to create some towers here. Panda finding... Huh, what is it? Talisman of Evasion. Meh. It's okay. Alright, here it comes. Anima in high upkeep. No heal scrolls can be bought for the Night of. We have two. Two for the human and ivory towers. And here come the militia. Fairy dragons. But they're pretty late. Invol immediately. Oh, that was a misclick! He wanted to use the ivories, but the invul misclick happened. And the mortar teams were caught in a terrible position. Level 4 for the Demon Hunter now, taking a lot of damage, but invul keeps him safe as well. Panda in the middle of everything. Heal scroll number 1 has been used. Number 2 has cooldown. But honestly, that's not that many bears. That's only 3. Fairly easy to deal with them. Or is it? Panda repositioning himself. Drunken Ace, Breath of Fire. He's surrounded. He's being given the staff of teleportation, can use it now. He's being staffed back, heal back up and staff back in again, I guess. But 65 supply for Foggy, 68 for Anima, but look at the bears in a terrible position. And they die. Die one by one, level 5 now for the AM. And it seems like it was just quick enough that Anima's push was hitting. Fairy Dragons now, but only now. Pfft, breath of Fire though, a lot of damage. Heal scroll comes in. But maybe a little bit too late. And the towers are finishing. 
One bear here off to the side. That's not the right positioning, my friend. He wants to go for the towers, but they're finishing. They're finishing. One has been cancelled. One is being killed, but one is still back up. It's still up. And the panda, oh man. Panda, what you gonna do? As he's gonna staff out. But he's gonna make it last as long as he possibly can. The expo in the meantime in jeopardy as well. Only one mortar team remaining. And now the demon hunter, is he gonna be slow? There's no more sorceresses! There's one actually. But he doesn't get in range. And the fairy dragons now. Both of them have died. 46 supply only for Foggy and this is... This is him dropping out most likely. Animite 75 supply. He is gonna take the expansion and he's looking in a tremendous position against the Ukrainian favorite. Anima, the big surprise of this tournament. I am very impressed with this guy. It almost felt like he took too much time. Alright, Foggy's gonna try to make one more stand. One last valiant effort. There's no more heal scrolls here. The panda still has quite a bit of mana. But the expo is gone anyways. Demon Hunter has to be very, very, very careful. Mortar team in a perfect position. The bears to the north, they're dealing a bit of damage, but slowly they're starting to run low on health and... Yeah, that's it. He can't do it! He can't fight him off. And Anima... Man... I must say, I'm impressed. Very, very impressed. The French human... Looking super, super strong.